What's up, friends? Thor Diecow. It's this week on Blu-ray and DVD, and we've got a couple of uh, mixed bags to tell you about. We start off with Mad Max Fury Road, and this was one of the best films of the year and one of the best action films, I don't know, in a couple of decades. Yes, Tom Hardy and Charlize Theron lead the way, and the special features on the Blu-ray are absolutely astounding. I still can't believe this movie was made in this day and age with so much practical effects and uh, so many stunts and, uh, and uh, the on-location shooting. It was incredible what they were able to pull off. 90 minutes of high octane special features get it because you're going to be watch, wanting to watch how they put together this epic film uh, that was shot in the desert of Namibia in uh, Africa also this week is uh, the entire Mad Max four film blu-ray anthology so if you want to collect all of them you can get this one but George Miller returning to the director's chair the guy that brought us the first three Mad Max movies so Mel may not be a part of this one but it was a solidly crafted action film with a great story brought to you by Immortan Joe who was just an awesome villain the the actor that plays the Morton Joe, uh, funnily enough, actually played the leader of the biker gang in the original Mad Max. Very cool stuff. Watch it, then see the Blu-ray special features, and then watch it again. All right, moving on, we're going to talk about Ethan Hawke in a war drama called Good Kill. But this one has a bit of a twist. It's a riveting thriller about 21st century warfare where combat unfolds like a video game, but real lives are at stake. So basically, Ethan Hawke is a drone pilot. He goes to work every day in a little bunker. And he's responsible for manning these drones in the Middle of East, in the Middle East. So he's responsible for kills that are happening thousands of miles away. And the emotional and mental toll starts to wear on him. Uh, great cast in this one, including uh, January Jones. And um, you can uh, see how it sort of is a satirical look at modern warfare as well. So this is from Andrew uh, Nichol, the director of Gattaca. So he's worked with um, uh, Ethan Hawke before, and that's uh, from the producers of The Hurt Locker as well. Really enjoyed Good Kill. It was an interesting look at modern warfare and uh, really brought to life with the intensity that only Ethan Hawke can bring. All right, now for the dud category, Cameron Crowe continues to strike out, and the latest, not good, Aloha. This is a romantic comedy with Bradley Cooper, Emma Stone, and Rachel McAdams. Basically, it revolves around a once-admired pilot, played by Cooper, who returns to Hawaii for a military contract job, is assigned to work with a young Air Force pilot, played by Stone, and then an old flame comes in, uh, played by McAdams, trying to reconnect with him, and that creates a love triangle. Angle. But the, the whole thing is a trite, contrived, cliched mess uh, with unfunny material, not very clever writing, and just a very sort of boring story at the end of the day. But an ensemble cast led the way by Bill Murray, John Krasinski, Danny McBride, and Alec Baldwin. Sadly, though, they could not save this epic misfire. Okay, now, this one might be for the guilty pleasure crowd. I have to say, I really enjoyed this one for its B-movie thrills. Big game. Samuel L. Jackson plays the President of the United States. So to see this guy play POTUS, I think is worth seeing it alone. But basically, a young teenager is camping in the woods. He's sort of on a, um, uh, it's his birthday and he's doing a cultural sort of celebration where he has to go and spend a, a night in the woods and uh, try to hunt something and bring it back to the village. Meanwhile, Air Force One gets shot down by terrorists and Samuel L. Jackson ends up in the woods and befriends this boy. Now the boy's got to try and navigate him out of the forest and get him to safety. Amazing. Uh, the movie also stars Ray Stevenson, Felicity Huffman, and Jim Broadbent. Uh, now, they're all, you know, obviously having a lot of fun with it. It's, it's, it's tongue planted firmly in cheek, but it has a cool message to it. It was a lot of fun seeing Samuel L. Jackson chew up the scenery as the president, and the way he uh, interacts with this kid and teams up with him. Very funny stuff. Loaded with over-the-top cheesy special effects. Uh, Victor Garber as well in the film. He plays the vice president. So, for the, the great cast alone and the uh, cheesy writing and, and the special effects, it's almost got like a diehard feel to it. I can recommend Big Game actually at the end of the day as a guilty pleasure. And we leave you with TV news. The Good Wife, the sixth season is back. Juliana Margulies continuing to bring the fierceness to the uh, world of law. And this one's just full of riveting, jam-packed uh, uh, special features. And the storylines take amazing twists and turns. I can't give anything away. Just check out the full sixth season. Great uh, cast and crew interviews as well. And uh, this just continues to be one of the best shows on Prime Time. I'm television. There you have it, people. I'm Thor Dykow. That's it for this week on Blu-ray and DVD. You can catch me on Twitter at Thor Dykow. Let me know what you thought of these titles. We'll see you next week on breakfasttelevision.ca.